Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. Hope everybody's well. Yeah, I wait for the last darn minute to do stuff sometimes. I I'm a Sag. It's probably one of my biggest faults. Anyway, Virgo, it's time for your May reading. I know, May only has a few hours left, but let me know if it resonated. This reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for May 2021. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will. Do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay, too. You can check your Moon Rising or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid, and all things can and maybe vice versa. might even play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. And our dear friends, the cross-watchers, are always welcome here at the Fire Sign Tarot Table. Everybody's always welcome, and I appreciate you stopping by. Now, keep in mind, I am getting this done pretty late in the month of May, so just because you're receiving the message in May... Doesn't mean that's when it resonated. <laughs> These events play out when they're supposed to play out. This is just when you're getting your message. All right. Before we do the invocation and cut the cards and get them on the table, one, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. That is a terrible idea. I wouldn't do it in a million years. Two, if it is not your reading, not your story, not your message, if it is not vibing with you at all, if it is not making sense in your life, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It wasn't your message. Okay. Heavenly Father, Mother, their Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, May 2021. Two of Swords popped out. Huh. It's very interesting. Tough decision, maybe? Shuffle it back in one more time. Let's bring Virgo to their highest possible spiritual good and put her on their highest possible spiritual path. Seven Cups. Hmm. Virgo, congratulations, you have options, possibly a few too many. Hmm, there's a suta in every cup, and some of them are a little scarier than others, but let's get to the nitty gritty, could be a water sign you're dealing with. In the past, we have a four of cups, well, somebody tried to hand you a cup, or you tried to hand somebody a cup, take it either way. At this point, we'll see what the clarifiers have to say. I don't think you took the cup. But again, we'll see what the clarifiers have to say. Second card out, the moon card of Pisces. I'm hearing you asked yourself, what if? That's a horrible mindset to get yourself into. It really is. We'll see what the rest of the cards have to say. Oh, I've got a new cup coming. Because you've got options. Virgo. I'm just going to throw this out there right now. Something for you to chew on while we play cards here. What if? Maybe... You weren't meant to take the cup. Eight of Wands in the reverse. Hmm. Like a forward movement. Something coming to a dead stop. Why? Three of Swords reversed, coming out of a state of heartbreak. The Fool reversed. Oh! Mm, 
Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. I mean, the hand is handing you the cup in both cards. I think this moon here is like it's all the unknowns. What if this? What if that? What if it doesn't work out? What if it does? Don't be so negative. So, with this full reverse, um, lack of trust and self-judgment, just, just throwing that out there, it's not jumping off the cliff. It's, it's not taking that leap. It's not trusting yourself to know what you're doing. That's what the rest of the cards have to say, Virgo. Ten of Swords reversed. Oh, gosh. No wonder you didn't take the cup. Well, okay, fine, fine. Ten of Swords reversed. The sun ain't shining yet. The pain ain't done. You're still feeling it. It's never a good idea to take a new cup when you're still coming down off the old one. So, okay, fine. Never start a new chapter in the book before you finish the one before it. Five of Cups. What if? Would I be standing here on the shore of the ocean of tears if I'd have just taken the damn cup? Three of Wands. Well, waiting patiently. The ship's going to come in. Maybe with this Ace of Cups here, you're asking yourself, is that cup going to come back? If I wait long enough? I don't know. Have you healed? Because that's why you didn't take it before. And apparently you're kicking yourself in the butt for it. What if? There's nothing you can do about it now, I don't think, if you didn't take it. If it's still being offered, there's still a chance, but shut up and read, shut up and read cards, Faith. Just shut up and read cards. <laughs> well, the world, the world is in reverse, so that ain't over. For some of you, there could be a lack of forward movement with anything new because, well, that cycle isn't over yet something's about to come back around it's mercury retrograde just beware that happens a lot don't set anything in stone during mercury retrograde three of swords reversed queen of wands reversed coming out of a state of heartbreak You're just not feeling it. You're not feeling worthy. Wow. What? Virgo, what? I need clarifiers. We are not doing this. Oh, no, friends. We are not doing this. No, we're not. <clears throat> Going to let somebody suck the self-worth out of you? Or with the Queen of Wands in the reverse, because wands speak of action and forward movement, maybe you're just maybe you're gonna allow yourself to work through the heartbreak before you get into anything. Possibly. I mean you got options. You don't need to jump at the first one that comes around. I'm just asking myself and if this and this are the same thing, because it might be for some of you. But the ace represents new things. Universe, stars, and spirit, can I get some clarity in the cards in the table for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, May 2021?
Hi. Four cups reversed. You didn't take it. You rejected the cup. You didn't jump. Why the fool reversed? Karma. Judgment. You weren't ready. You made a judgment call. I am not ready to jump. You may still not be ready. That's why you're waiting. Why is four cups here? Six of cups reversed. Oh, oof, oof. Somebody dumped salt in my sugar. Mm. Somebody may have gotten a little bit offended by the rejection of their cup. Why is ten of swords reversed here? World reversed. You weren't supposed to take the cup because you weren't ready because there was a chapter that was not closed. Why is the moon here? The fool reversed. Why the full reversed? Second time it's shown up. Why? The star, because you needed to heal. Okay, Virgo, I think this is coming through loud and clear. <laughs> loud and clear. Why is the five of cups here? Why didn't I jump? You didn't jump because you needed to heal, because you weren't ready. Yeah, you may have offended somebody in the process, but ace of cups, here we go. You see how this is tying together, Virgo? There's sadness because there's still a little cup for you. Even though you pulled, poured salt in their sugar bowl, they still hold a cup for you. Why is this Ace of Cups here? Dead center. Why? Oh, hair fit. Virgo, I'm getting goosebumps. I love it. Virgo. Ooh. Why is the why is the high priest here? Seven wands reversed. You're having an internal battle with yourself, aren't you? Not quite ready yet. I mean, I feel it, and I feel like they feel it, and there's definitely a soulmate thing going on here, but I'm just not ready. Why well, is three wands here? What are you waiting for? Strength, I'm waiting to be able to trust myself again. What if we're too different? Card of Leo, by the way, just throwing that out there. You know, sometimes connections with extreme polarities work out the best. Just saying. Just saying. Just throwing that out there. Why is the Eight of Wands reversed here? Hi. Queen of Swords reversed. Virgo. Not talking about it, not acting on it, not communicating it. 
like almost like you have a bad attitude toward it. Why the Queen of Swords reversed? Four of Pentacles. Because you're still holding on to how much something hurt. You're holding on to a cycle that you couldn't let end. You may have a slightly jaded idea toward letting yourself fall again. It hurt like hell. It hurt so bad your Ten of Swords is still upside down. So, the wheel reversed. Why the wheel reversed? Three of Cups comes out reversed. Why the Three of Cups reversed? Oh God, it's sideways. I hate that. Okay, fine. Flip it over. It's the King of Wands. I think this is supposed to be upright. Why the King of Wands? Three of Wands are first. Third three. Eventually you gotta let this go. I'm beginning to understand why you may not have taken the cup now. Was there another cup involved? Was there a few too many sticks involved? This may have been a third party situation. That's why you didn't take their cup. And I'm not saying they were necessarily still with that person. Possibly. I mean, they could have been, but they could have just been all energetically up in each other's crap still. Like they're the one who didn't close something out. And that's why you didn't take a cup. Play it however it resonates, but I'm, I'm pretty sure you are the one who does not want to move forward with this for whatever reason. You didn't want to move forward with it. You waited it out. I think you're just finally going to walk, done walk away from the dock and stop waiting. Why is the three of swords here? Oh my gosh, there's four threes. Three of swords reversed. The sun. You find happiness. You work through the heartbreak. You find joy again. The sun does shine. Why the sun? Queen of Cups. Virgo. The sun's going to shine again because you chose to love yourself. That's beautiful. I'm gonna throw one on top of this Queen of Wands reversed. The shadow side. You chose to love yourself and allow the sun to shine again because you're disconnecting from some pretty toxic energy. Energy so toxic that it made your ten of swords upside down for a very long time. You know, I've said this to a few of the other signs this month. The only one with the power, and this is you. 
but you have to do it up here and you have to do it in here and you have to do it in here. They all got to line up. It means you totally have to release it and let it go because if you fail to close this chapter out, you won't move on. You got options, kid. Come on. One on the shadow side. Oh, I'll be damned. I think I'm going to leave it right there. This is Seven of Cups. You got options, kid. Let's get your advice. Why not? The world and the hierophant. The best part of cycles coming to an end, oftentimes, is the lesson you learned from it. So what did you learn? King of Swords reversed and the Eight of Cups. Sometimes it might be best to just move forward. When judgments get clouded and attitudes get heavy and you're not vibing anymore. I don't know who that's for, but... When things... When things can't be logical... Sometimes it is just best to walk away and take a breather. Justice and the King of Cups reversed. If they're going to keep spilling your cup, cut them loose. Nobody likes a cup spiller. I want a cup filler. What about you, Virgo? You want a cup filler or a cup spiller? Empress reversed in the hanged man. And sometimes you just need to accept that it wasn't meant to be. That can take a lot of introspection, which Virgos, you guys are great at that. That's why your card's the hermit. You're great at that. You're great at finding that inner light of peace and harmony with source and harmony with all that's around you. You're awesome at that. But sometimes it takes a great deal of acceptance and you have to find that acceptance and that clarity within your spirit, within yourself that, okay, it wasn't meant to be. Nobody did anything wrong. It is what it is. But Virgo, love you to bits. I will catch you next month.